Hey there guys, I'm pretty excited to announce that I'm about ready to show you Carolina's very first personally edited video. I'd gone ahead and taught her how to edit video. She's thinking about maybe even starting a channel of her own. So I hope you enjoy this 1970 Chinook Mobile Lodge. Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple thing. The Vieira's Spot. Knock, knock. How are you? Come in, come in. As I told you, I'm here for us to do the the tour of of your uh, vintage. And but let me give you a hug first. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Good, and you? Very good. Getting ready to go to Oxenita tomorrow. So. Uh, uh, you know, I've kinda, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting things packed, and and uh, but I wanted you to to see my RV. Uh, it's a 1970 uh, Chinook Mobile Lodge, and uh, I've had it about a year now. As you mentioned, you think like it's better to have a motorhome or some other kind of uh, well, I like recreation the, i like the motorhome because uh if there's a fire i can just i can just pick up and go right away right uh whereas if you have a trailer you have to hook it up and pack everything uh, so i find this a lot better and this has a lot more room and it's self-contained awesome yeah. yeah it's self-contained so you've got your shower and your bathroom and everything where some trailers they they don't have a bathroom and or a shower so this one has more storage also okay that's awesome you want to go in around and show me a little more sure so then this motorhome it doesn't have a gray water tank so i have to add a 32 gallon exterior uh tote along tank uh so I have that, and it's a 30 amp service. Okay. And uh, and then I also added a basket on the back when I have a cargo area here. So okay, you have some storage. Yeah, a little storage. Okay. And. Uh, I also added this basket here to the back. See? Okay, and then you can put your bike. Yeah, I can put the bike and everything back here. And that and that tank. That total long tank. Oh, I got it. Uh-huh. I've had to uh, these these taillights didn't work when I got the motor home. So a guy put uh, LED strips in here. These are very bright. Very good. No, they that's really awesome. Good now. Yeah, well, I love the vintage ones. As I told you that we had the GMC like a 1975 Kingsley. Yes. And then I was like looking forward for this uh, tour of your Chinook, of your oh. vintage. So would you like to come in? Yeah, I... let's go inside. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm, I'm coming. Well, it's kind of come dark on. here. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, here is your... I just put a new stereo in. Okay. And you want to show us? Oh, okay. And then you have your driver's seat. Yeah, see, to turn the stereo on, you have they have a switch here for it so that it'll run on, on uh, 110. Oh, okay. See. Okay, so it's still the stereo still fits in the same uh, area that where the old stereo was, and uh, I got XM and everything on here. And then you have your radio, and what else? It has a backup camera on it. When you put it in reverse, there's a backup camera. It has Sirius XM. It has um, Spotify and Pandora. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, you can answer the phone while you're driving. 
with Bluetooth right here. Oh, that's awesome because here in California, you're not allowed to answer the, to be on the phone, right? Right. So I have the the phone hooked up to the stereo. So if I get any calls in, I just press the phone. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was beautiful, right? Oh yeah. The GMC was like that, you know. We would be pretty tall and see the the views from the up from up here, right? Oh yes, yes. The view is beautiful while you while you're driving. Correct. Oh yes. And it's, then, it's, it's a panoramic view. Right, exactly. It is what we had in our GMC. And then you wanna show here first the bathroom that you said that you are self-contained. You have your Little bathroom, right? Yeah. yeah. I got. I've got two storages in here. I got that one, and I have this one. See. Now, okay, with your clothes and everything. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And then you here. You said you. Ha well, I have. You have your kitchen, right? With the stove. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, this is just. It's and you can store things in here when you're not using, right? And you yeah. can cook a big pizza. Anyway. True, and then make a big turkey for Christmas. You're just prepared with a big oven, right? Right. Okay, and here you have the stove and the oven. Uh, and all of these burners work. Okay, awesome. We tried all the burners. And then you have your refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, it works. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And then this, this is good where size. I, this is where I store all my pots and pans and everything under there. Okay. And. Uh, then I've got my laptop, my TV. See, everything is ready to move. See, I cover everything with rugs. And here you have your little space that you have your books, right? You can yeah. read and... Yeah, all my paperwork and and uh, there's, uh, there's paper here for writing and... Uh, uh, that's awesome. And then that's your bed, right? That's well, uh, Yeah, for now it's going to be the bed. I Does it? This is just this is just a bench seat. See, I, I have that's another bed too, up there. Oh, it becomes a bed too, right? Yeah, but I had to I had to put those into benches because I had to check the oil. Oh, okay. And check the radiator, the the uh, fluid level in the radiator. Oh, so right. So I took I had to take that engine cover off. So when you take the engine cover off, you have to turn uh, this like this here see you have to turn this like that so that the engine cover will come off see? right yeah i remember in the gym see we had the engine right here in the front as well oh did you have an engine cover similar to this similar to that exactly oh, oh. yeah what's the engine you have here it's a 318 dodge oh okay yeah we have like the four no a 440 oldsmobile is what the GMC is. Maybe it's interesting for the people who are watching us about the thousand trail system. You would like to talk about how it works? And you say like you, you stay three weeks here in the well, Pio Pico? Well, uh, yeah, I stay three weeks here in Hamul, which is called Pio Pico. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, usually stay three weeks up in Descanso, which is called Oxenita. Mm -hmm. But they're working on the electrical up at Oxenita. They're putting in uh, 50 amp boxes and, and heavy cable, uh, thick, thick cable. And so uh, they're upgrading some of the sites. So we, we uh, members have to go to other places. So, so I, sometimes I go to wilderness. But uh, I think I'll go back up to Oxenita because I might have a job up there. Oh, okay. So, and uh, then you stay there for how long? Uh, three weeks. Mm -hmm. And then you come back then, here then for I, one week? Then I come back here for three weeks. Here, I'm, right now I'm in Hamul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like Pico. Yeah, because our membership is a little different. We stay like two weeks and one week out. And two weeks and one week out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good too. I'm gonna show hopefully, your chiquita. Hopefully, uh, if, 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 if anybody has a 1970 Chinook, uh, you know, if you could let me know. Deidre Vieira at yahoo.com. Awesome. Yeah. 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 You guys can exchange, you know, like problems and, you know, just I only, experiences. I only know of one other Chinook like this one. It's a 1969. This one's a 70, but it has the same floor plan uh, as this one. 
Uh, so uh, if there's anybody else with another uh, 1970 Chinook 318 Dodge, uh, uh, it's let's see, it's a Spicer, it's a Spicer Dana Spicer drivetrain and rear end. Okay. And uh, one ton chassis. Right, yeah. Yeah. And then this is Chiquita, right? Your doggy? Uh huh. Uh huh. Is it a, what, a Chihuahua? She's a Chihuahua Yorkie. Oh, that's a really good mix. She's about eight years old. Oh. And, um, yeah, she's been, she has to, she's been broken down with me a couple of times <laughs> alongside the road. Hey, if it wasn't all the breakdowns we had with the GMC, I would love to still have it because, you know, it's so cutie. And then people always wave at us when we were on the road. But, you know, just it was like kind of heavy in our pockets. Right, right. But it's always good to find somebody that is still, you know, uh, what I can say. <laughs> that still um, uh, hold on this older, really rare piece of motorhome, right? Yes, the, the older <laughs> vintage motorhomes. Right, yeah. Yeah. That takes it takes a conscientious person, you know, to always be working on it, uh, lubing it. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, now my next project is the parking brakes. I was applying the parking brakes sometimes when I would stop and park. Oh, at first I thought, is that the transmission? And whenever I would stop, that that brake would seize up, and I wouldn't be able to go. At first I thought, is that was the parking brake had to be removed? because okay. it was malfunctioning and and it was a mess uh, i i have worked on the u-joints uh, there was one u-joint that was bad so uh i've done a lot of repairs on it and um see so for, well, for the first repair was a uh the uh, distributor the, the wires going to the distributor i had a low spark so they hooked up all the wires going to the battery now it starts right up now then i've had a couple of problems with the gas tank the gas tank was full of gunk so I had to have it flushed a couple of times and I put a new fuel pump and fuel filter on it. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, guys.